Greetings, it's Apple Stump Bushcraft Stuff and Things back with another adventure. It's been a while, but well, let's get started. So what do you do when it's dark like this? There's an old saying that better to light a candle than curse the darkness. So what is this candle? What did we make it out of? That will be the subject of the next few minutes, and I hope you'll stay tuned. Now, most of us are fairly well prepared when we go out for an overnighter, or a couple of day hike, camping trip, etc. But how about if you're just on a day hike, maybe uh, morning till late afternoon, you have a few food items with you, some water, and something happens. Weather turns bad, you get lost, turned around, can't find the trail. What are you going to do? Well, it's starting to get dark. Maybe you have something to start a fire with. Hopefully you do. But what about light? Well, that's where candles come in, right? And this is our candle. That's the little candle I lit just a minute ago. And I made that out of something that you might have with you on a day hike. What is that mysterious something that you might have with you on your day hike? One of these little cheeses, right? So this is not an endorsement for Baby Bell cheese. This happens to be something I like. Something I might take along on a hike. The curious thing about Baby Bell cheeses and other ones like it, they're wrapped in wax. You open it up, and you got a nice little piece of cheese in there, and you got wax. That looks like a little Pac-Man kind of. So, what do you do with the cheese? Well, you eat it, right? That's what I'm going to do, so stand by. Alrighty then. So we've got the wax outer cover for the Baby Bell cheese. Looks like Pac-Man, right? Okay, so let's pull it apart. And I like to get rid of this part because that's where the plastic thing was that makes you be able to open it. So you're left with two halves. Like so, right? So what I'm going to do, since this cheese is pretty soft and squishy, I'm going to squish it together. Okay, that's probably good enough for that part. Let's put a piece of string in there. This is just ordinary cotton twine. Not quite as thick as kite string would be. And depending on what shape of candle you want, you can make it round like that one I did, or you can make it like a candle stick. If you want it to stay put, put it on a flat surface like a rock or something like that. Mush it down a little bit so it's flat on the bottom. And I pinch up a little bit of wax around the string where it comes out so that when the flame gets down there, after you light the string, it'll start wicking liquid wax rather than just burning. Kind of looks like a cherry bomb, doesn't it? There you go. All right. Now, the one I made before was made out of, I think, two baby bells. And this one has a nylon twine in it, which I'm not fond of. I like cotton better. So, let's trim the wick a little bit. Now you can do it with a knife blade or scissors. 
if I were out in the, on a hike or something and didn't happen to have scissors with me, I'd just go ahead and light it and let it burn all the way down to the where the wax is for um, wouldn't hurt anything. So anyway, we'll snip it. Still too long. There we go. Nice usable length. Good thing about this baby bell wax too is it kind of sticks to stuff so you could actually have a flat rock there or a limb or a piece of wood or something stick it on there it's not going to fall over very easy. Alright let's light it. Light it with a match, you can light it with a lighter. Now as that flame burns down and starts to melt the wax into the wick and voila look what you have. And like we said before, better to light a candle than curse the darkness, right? You can carry it around. You could put it on the end of a stick for more safe uh, carrying if you wanted it to because after a while this wax is going to melt and form a little pool at the top or run down the side of the candle. If you were holding it in your hand, you might get a little bit of hot wax in your hand but put it on the end of a stick and uh, you could safely carry it. That's a one candle power light. I don't know how many lumens that is but it's probably, I don't know, if it were pitch dark in here, which it's not, I would say that's probably three or four lumens, something like that. Okay, so there you have it. Baby Bell cheese, piece of string, eat the cheese, mold the wax wrapper into some kind of shape, piece of string inside of it, and light the string and you have a candle. This has just been a little quick trip, a little quick hack. Apple Stump Bushcraft Stuff and Things. And we'll be seeing you soon with another one. Till then, take care, be well, and stay safe. Adios.